68 days of summer flew by for Chicago Public School students. They returned to classes tomorrow. Hard as that may be to believe, today a local foundation is helping kids get in the back to school spirit in all the right ways. And CBS 2 Chardet Gray is live at Chicago's DuSable Black History Museum and Education Center in Washington Park, where there's a lot going on today. Good evening, Chardet. Yeah, Chris, and that event, it's wrapping up right now. You can probably see behind us, but we had a chance to talk with the founder of Project Swish, and he says that this is the biggest event that they've ever held, helping parents and students. CPS students head back to class tomorrow, but the district still faces some challenges, such as the national bus shortage. Kids are feeling the school spirit in Washington Park. I like that they, um, did a raffle and I won a big bag full of goodies. Project Swish, a foundation that utilizes sports and entertainment to bring the community together, are helping parents send their kids back to school with the right tools. You know, growing up here in the city, you know, uh, every day is not promised, you know, so just celebrating every year. The fifth year, we want to make it even bigger. Sixth year, we want to make it even bigger. Just keep going up the ladder. I came out to support. For parents like Shayla Brecklaw, she came out not only to get last minute school supplies, but to show support for the foundation. Oh, it's beautiful to see how much the organization has expanded. Now they're at the DuSable Museum and able to have a big event like this. Big events like this are possible due to new CDC guidance, which is the basis for CPS mitigation strategies this year. The district will continue to strongly recommend wearing a mask, offer free in-school testing program each week, and exclude students and staff members from school for five days if they test positive for COVID-19. One major change to protocols, unvaccinated students and staff members who come in close contact with an infected person will no longer be required to stay home for five days. because of bus shortages, CPS is also offering $500 monthly stipend or CTA passes for some transportation situations. The district also faces issues as enrollment continues to decline and the persistent virus. Reporting live at Washington Park, Charday Gray, CBS 2 News. Chris. Charday, thanks.